Hi educators! In this video we are going to look at adding photos and videos into our Google Forms and not only does that look pretty but it's an amazing tool to allow for differentiation in our classes. I have here the science quiz we created in the last video. I've just completed some of these questions so that we can work with them. Now I am just going to click into my first question here and you will notice that I can add an image to my question and I also can add an image to my answers. So let's work with the question here. I'm going to insert a picture and I can also do that from my side panel here, my little control panel, I can add an image. So I'm going to add my image and just like uh, Google Slides, Google Docs, Google allows you to select your images from your computer. If you already have them on your computer, you can take a snapshot with your webcam, you can search by your web address, uh, etc. I have saved these photos into my Google Drive, so I'm just going to go into my Google Drive and find my pictures. All right, so I thought this was a cute energy picture for my quiz, so I'm going to insert that. And then I am going to insert pictures for each of my answers. So just doing this the same way, wherever I have it saved, I can find my pictures. I now have pictures for all of my answers and for my question. Now I can't change these pictures too much in the answers. I, I can't crop them, I can't shrink them or change colors, so you have to do all of that before you uh, insert them into your Google Forms. Now I can change my picture that goes with my question. This one I can enlarge or shrink just a little bit. I also, if I click out of it, I'll have my ellipses and I can center align, uh, right align it so I can change its alignment. That's about all the options we have for the, the pictures. They're, they're not very formatable. Now, this looks pretty, I guess, if you want to make your quizzes super pretty, you can, but this is actually a much more important tool, and I will show you why. If I go to my preview, this is how the students will see the quiz. Um, we have a nice our nice little energy picture and then there are pictures that go with each answer. So we have our oil rig and solar array and, and windmills. Now I really like this for English language learners. Um, you will be able to quickly see as a teacher if your English language learners are, are just having a problem with the word, that, that it's a vocabulary problem, that they haven't quite learned the word yet, versus a concept problem. So if I have a student in my class who is an English language learner, they may very well understand the concept of water power, hydroelectric, but maybe struggling to remember the word hydroelectric, especially if they have not obtained the academic language yet. Now in this case they can look at these pictures, right? Pictures and visuals are so important for our English language le learners to uh, hook concepts to. I will know immediately does the student remember water power without having to worry about maybe they just forgot the word hydroelectric, okay? So it, pictures and visuals for our ELL learners not only allows us to more accurately pinpoint whether it's a vocabulary or a concept problem, but it also allows our ELLs to uh, to hook their, their language to, to the images. Let's look at videos next. I want to work in our second question. So I'm going to grab this question. And using my panel here, I can add a video. Now it's going to ask me to find the video from YouTube. I've already found a video that I like. I'm going to put the address and search for it. And here we have an energy video that I want my students to watch. And it will put it directly into Google Forms. I can title this video. And if I want this video to be watched before this first question, I can just grab it here in the center and renumber 
my questions, and I can do that for any of my questions or pictures. Uh, so now my students can watch this little video and answer the question. Adding videos to Google Forms is a wonderful way to flip a classroom. If you want your students to know some of the content before they come to class, you can assign a form as homework, have them watch a video or two, answer some knowledge checks, and they can come to class prepared and rather ready to do your experiment or your project. So not only can you do knowledge checks. It's also a great way to flip a classroom. You just want to make sure that the video comes from YouTube. That's going to be your only option. When I go to the preview screen, my students will be able to see that this is a video. They can watch it right in Google Forms and then continue on. In Google Forms, I can also add titles or descriptions. So let's work with our third answer here, our third question. If I click onto the double T, it's a title and description. I am going to click this, and this will now add a title and description box. I like this because you can add titles to make different sections in your forms. Maybe this section of your form is about energy and the section is about specifically, you know, water cycle. So you can make titles that way, but it's also a great way to make word banks. If you want your students to be able to pick from a, a, a set of word banks, you would just title this, you know, word bank for question um, for question three and then you can put your words that you want your students to pick from or a hint for an answer or a, a reminder so this is a great way to give notes to your students and you can just put it before or after the question wh whatever your students are comfortable doing okay let's look at our quiz take a look at it and we see that we now have a quiz that is fair for English language learners. We have extra resources and material for our students and even have a word ba bank for our fill in the blank answer. So this looks like a pretty good little quiz. Now these tools lead us directly into differentiation. Perhaps you only want to add pictures for st certain students or you have an IEP that a student receives uh, modified responses or fewer responses or a word bank. With Google Forms, you can easily create a different set of questions or answers for those students. And I'm going to show you how to do that very easily now. This quiz is the quiz that we are going to give the majority of our students. But I have a student in my class that has uh, reduced answers on their IEP. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Google Drive and here's my science quiz. And all I am going to do is create a copy of this. Now I don't want to name this with a student name but you can create your own system. So let's say we have science quiz unit one, science, Q, uh, science quiz unit 1A, 1B, 1C, just to meet your different requirements. So I can then rename this to what I need it to be called. And I just have to right click my new quiz and I can rename it here. So we're going to call this science quiz A. Let's just say I know my science quiz. All of my A quizzes are going to be the ones that have shortened responses on them. So I can open up this quiz and then I can modify it. When I go into a Google Classroom or if I send this out through emails, I know that 24 students are going to get science quiz, two students are going to get science quiz A, and one student will get science quiz B, and that it meets their IEP or 504 paperwork. So in this case, I'm in science quiz A, and for this first one, I am just going to delete an extra answer, my extra answer. So this way, they will have a choice of three instead of four, a reduced answer response. Um, maybe they'll get less questions. So this question, I don't want them to do at all. It's not going to be required. 
for my A students and I can trash it right here with my delete button and I can take away the video that belongs to it with the delete button. This question already has a word bank so I'm happy with that. Now when I preview this I know that my science quiz A for those students that have reduced work will have less answers, less questions, word bank, whatever it is I need. The pictures that are required for students who maybe need uh, material in multiple ways, which of course is great for all students. So now I have a lovely second quiz that will meet all of my IEPs and 504s. You would make just as many quizzes as you need to meet all of those legal requirements for your students taking tests. I will see you next video where we'll see how to take this Google Forms pretend quiz and turn it into an actual quiz for your students.